Well, if you're looking for something you and your dog can do this weekend, we've got you covered. I'm a little distracted right now. The UWPD is hosting a fundraiser this weekend to benefit its canine and mounted patrol units here this morning as Sergeant Charisse Cardine and her canine Casey. Casey. Such a nice dog. Thanks for being with us. Yes, thanks for having us. So how, um, I mean, we talk about raising money for mounted patrol for canines. What do you need? What kind of resources do you need? Uh, we use those funds um, mostly for training and equipment. Um, purchasing a new dog costs uh, tens of thousands of dollars with a uh, new squad car, the dog itself, and all the training that goes in. Throughout the dog's career, though, um, we go to all kinds of specialized training, which helps us keep um, at the top of our game. How many dogs do you have on staff? We've got three dogs at UWPD. Uh, two of them are bomb dogs, and Casey here is our narcotics detection dog. So we were talking in the commercial break about what makes shepherds in particular so good mm -hmm. at doing this kind of work. Yeah. If you can't explain to folks. Sure. Um, the best way to explain it is uh, they're, the longer the snout, the better their olfactory system is. So they can, they're very accurate in their um, scent detection. And how I explain it um, in simple terms is if you walk in your house and somebody's cooking a pizza, you walk in the front door and go, oh, there's pizza. Mm -hmm. A dog walks into the door and they can separate all those ingredients. So everything that's in the, the crust, the tomatoes, oh the oregano, gosh. the spices, the different types of cheeses, the toppings, they can separate all that stuff just because of their, their longer snout. And the dogs that you have, I mean, like this one's been with you Nine since years. Nine years. Yeah, she's 10 years old. So it, it's not like... Oh, you just got a partner for a year or two. Then you, I mean, this this is yours. Yes, she no. she lives with me. <laughs> okay, come back here. Please. Okay. <laughs> uh, she's she's part of the family. I I spend more time with her than I do uh, my family because she's literally with me at home and on the job. Is this part of uh, when you entered the force? I mean, is this kind of the work you were thinking you were doing, or how'd you come to this? Uh, one of my training officers was a canine handler of our first bomb dog, which was Mosley, and um, spending three weeks on the job with them, so I, I knew right then and there that I, I needed a dog. I needed a partner. They don't really give you any attitude. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe, they certainly maybe can. Times. Okay, talk about the event on Sunday. Yeah. We're having a dog jog. It's uh, our second annual, I believe, mm -hmm. and um, starting at 10 a.m. at out in Lot 60, out by the UW Hospital. It's a two-mile family-friendly and fur-friendly um, Excellent. Walk or run, and it's two flat miles okay. and free parking. Flat being the key word. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> free parking is also yeah. two pretty key words there, too. Oh, never yeah. hurts on campus. Will you both be out there? We will be out there doing demonstrations along with our other two um, canines, and our mounted unit will be out there. So pe people want to meet Vegas, our horse. They can meet Vegas, the horse, too. Speaking Ooh. of demonstrations, we're going to yeah. have one here in the studio in about a half hour. Uh, HR approved, we hope. Yes. Um, thank you, Sergeant. Thank you, Casey. We'll check back with you thank here in about a half you. hour or so. Thank you. She's beautiful. beautiful. Back here with Sergeant Sharice Carradine and her canine Casey from the University of Wisconsin Police Department. We're going to be doing a drug demonstration. Mm -hmm. The sergeant uh, hid some drugs somewhere here in the studio this morning. We're going to see if canine Casey is able to track them down. Because once again, Casey is the narcotic dog. Yes. Okay. And, and as a mm -hmm. Dutch Shepherd, she has amazing abilities to use her nose, correct? She does. Um, uh, throughout testing in her career, she's 97% accurate um, in her job finding things. So she's really good at what her job. What kind of training does, does Casey go through to become elite like that? Uh, well, they start by testing the dogs when they're puppies um, to see if they have the prey drive uh, yeah. to do the job, mm -hmm. first of all. And then once they're around one years old, they start training them. It takes about six months to get the dog trained up um, and then the human gets trained with the dog Come here, and then... <laughs> Are you 97% successful too? You want too? to start sniffing, don't you? Know, you know, some days I'd really like to think so, but... <laughs> Should I go, Gary? So you, were, you were telling us, though, the, I mean, the, the different, or the ability that she has yes. to be able to detect different ingredients in a pizza. I mean, that, it's that much better than our own noses. Yes, their their noses are very specific. So whatever the dog is trained to sniff, I mean, there's dogs that find bed bugs, um, fruit, and then our dogs that find bombs and drugs. Uh, but the dogs aren't looking for that specific item. They, It's a game to them. That's when they go into their prey drive. They're looking wow. for that rabbit to jump out of the uh -huh. hole. They're, okay. they're basically working for their toy. All right, so 
Let's find Let's send her on our way. Let's yeah. see. You want to go find some dope? That's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> so when Casey finds uh, drugs, she, yeah. she'll sit down and she'll um, look exactly where she thinks that they are. So I'm going to start her here. I'm going to give her her command, and uh, we're going to work down the wall and see if there's anything here in the desk. Ready? Suck it up. I made a crumb. I had some crumbs over there. I hope that didn't <laughs> impact me. Oh. oh, wow. That's a good one. So she's staring at it, and of yeah. course, I leave the toy over here. There you go. So she's basically just working for her reward. Mm -hmm. And she'll sit there all day long until her reward shows up. It's a good girl. Where is it? Oh, the good girl. What did she find? Do we have anything back there? Well, I didn't want to bring anything illegal um, <laughs> into the studio. Here. Thank you. Uh -huh. So uh, we brought some. Uh, Cotton balls that were scented with illegal okay. narcotics. Okay. So the reason that we were doing this is because of the dog jog. Um, if you can mm -hmm. quickly tell us about that this weekend. Yep, two mile, so um, family friendly, job. fur friendly run um, that starts in UW Lot 60 mm -hmm. out uh, by the UW Hospital. You can register on our website, uh, okay. the UWPD website. It's $25 until midnight tonight. That's the last time you can register online and or you can dogs do dogs are, of course, welcome. Yes, right. and Wonderful. costumes. Okay. There will be a costume contest, Thank too. Thank you so much to both of you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Appreciate it.